Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Our Gray House, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a super simple hanging planter. I'm gonna be using mostly Dollar Tree items. One of the items that I'm using is this faux leather ribbon, and I got this from Hobby Lobby because I couldn't find it at Dollar Tree. Several people are like, oh, I found this at Dollar Tree. I'm like, I didn't. So. I'm just going to be taking the nautical rope jute, and there is a difference because they're two different kinds. One's thinner than the other. So just making sure when you're doing your project, you are using the same kind, unless it doesn't matter to you, or unless you're just trying to go for a different look. But I'm gonna be using this little nautical rope, and I'm gonna be coiling it around itself, and then I'm gonna create a little base, and then I'm just gonna go up a little bit, and then I'm gonna make my planter. But I found these at the Dollar Tree. Now you guys know that I use these. I got these off of Amazon. They're silicone makeup brushes. And I use these to work when I work with hot glue so that I don't burn myself. But I thought, especially for a project like this where I'm having to hold it with my fingers, this might work good. And I thought, you know, I wonder if this would work when you're trying to like curl your hair with a curling wand. So my granddaughter got me a curling wand for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. One of the reasons why is because I'm afraid to burn myself. So I'm going to see if this works. I don't know if there's like one that's supposed to go in your thumb or not, but we're gonna put those there. So I'm going to, now I feel like, oh, you know, Edward scissor hands. Anyway, that's kind of what I feel like right now. I need another glue stick. This is really making me clumsy, but that's okay. I'm gonna start by just putting some glue on the end of this right here and then coiling it around itself. Maybe I need the one on the middle finger as well. You know what? The only problem is it's like, it's like, this feels clunky. I'm not gonna be able to use this right now. Okay, I'm gonna let that set for a second because I want to stick this inside. So I don't really need the container to be like this big giant container. I'm just gonna actually go, maybe, maybe it's, wide around is that on the base i don't know this is the size that i have so far and now i'm going to start building it up side note with this sure bonder glue the glue sticks are smaller because i have the mini version and it just really feels like i run through the glue sticks like really fast but i'm just going to finish this up it's a little wonky it's not like super straight and perfect it's actually okay i'm not worried about that at all because I think it's gonna turn out just fine. So this is the back, or what I'm gonna consider the back because that's where I had looped the other one as well when I joined the um, other rope. So I'm just gonna tuck this down here. This is how it looks so far, and no, it's not perfect. It's a little, you know, wonky, but I'm gonna attach this leather inside. This is actually the back. So I'm gonna put some hot glue, kinda figure out how far down to stick these. It's going good so far, so it's looking kind of cute. But now I want to add some of this, or is this lavender? Yeah, lavender. Add some of this lavender in. This is lavender that I got from the Dollar Tree, and obviously it's not gonna fit like this. So I was gonna cut it down so just the tops were sticking out. So I got my little snippers here. I'm gonna be using some of this green foam. I also got this from the Dollar Tree and just gonna kinda tear off a little chunk. I just don't need that much, you know? Just enough to kinda, whoa, calm down. Give it a little bit of something to grip to. And I don't know that I wanna use, if I want them like a little bit shorter, or is this gonna work? How's this gonna look? Okay, so the taller one I'm gonna stick at the back. Obviously, I'm a professional floral sticker inner person. Here's how it turned out, and I think it turned out really pretty cute. So this is a little mini hanging planter basket. And right now I have lavender in it because it's spring, but in the summer you could put more summer flowers like sunflowers or something like that. And in the fall you could put colors that are like oranges and browns and things like that. So you can change it out for the seasons so it makes it versatile. 
But the only thing is, I was going to hang this in my entryway, like the mudroom when you come in the back door, but it's really small. So I, I mean, I could make another one that's just larger so it would be more noticeable, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should try to show you a picture of it hanging in there and see what you guys think. But I might just put it on my mantle just like that. I think it looks cute and it was so easy to make. If you tried this, let me know. Be sure and tag me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you post it because I would love to see how you guys interpret this. I've seen another basket similar where she painted the bottom white and that looked really cute as well. So lots of variations that you can do with a simple and easy craft. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I have so much fun crafting and I just love it that you guys come along my journey. Don't forget, if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.